Well, I quite like that there's quite a lot of local shops like Burger King, McDonald's, Poundland, and they're pretty spread out, so wherever you really come from, you can always get to a shop. Uh, it's also a good place to uh, meet with friends and family yeah. and just hang out. Yeah, it's, I live quite local, so it's easy to access, which is quite useful. Yeah. Um, Topshop. Yeah, I like Topshop and Nando's. And McDonald's. Yeah, and it's just like really quick and easy just to go to and like come back. So it's nice and like close to our houses, which is good. I like the fact that it's cleaner than most places and you, you can find so many shops that you wouldn't find in many other places. Um, I like Ferrum because um, it's got a really nice range of shops so you've got some banks, you've got clothes, food so you can come here whenever you want or yeah. for, for whatever you want. It's nice to like hang out with mates around here because there's like loads of shops and there's also like swimming pools nearby so Like, not to be mean or anything, but no, I'd, like, I, carry on walking. Oh, yeah, I would as well. If I gave him my money, I don't, like, want to give him it because I don't know where my money would end up. Yeah, if um, I'd rather um, kind of just, like, walk past us because I don't know where my money's going to go, if they're going to spend it on drugs or alcohol. I don't know, I think we just walk past really. And ignore them. But at the same time, <laughs> ignore them. But at the same time, we'd want to help, but we wouldn't really know what was best to do. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I think I would just try to ignore them really, just walk past. I always feel a bit uncomfortable because I don't know how I can help them and I never know what I should do. Yeah, same. So we're, we're a homeless organisation and housing association um, that work to get people off the streets, um, help people claim benefits, uh, get bank accounts, um, and basically, yeah, move on from living on the streets. Um, try not to encourage them to stay on the streets and, you know, move on with their lives. Um, yeah, we got, we, so we have 20 residents, uh, and then during the winter, um, we can have 10 overnight stays from Fair and Gosport. Um, the, the overnight stays is literally just to give people a bit of respite during the bad weather. Um, While you know, living in the hostel, people are, in, are supported to move on. They, they're not there for a long time, forever. They're supported to get doctors, claim benefits, get back into employment and to move on to their own accommodation, possibly council accommodation or private rented accommodation. So that, that's the goal at the end of the day, to move them on. Um, if you're giving directly to someone living on the street, you're kind of encouraging them and, and sort of making it okay for them to stay on the streets. If you're giving to charities, um, the money's spent in the right place and in the right way um, to get these people off the streets um, and help them further to sort of get back into living a normal life. The money will be used to get people ID stuff, they need to claim the proper benefits rent deposits for private accommodation, that's what two cents would generally use any donations for. Although we don't always know the best way to help, 
There are a lot of agencies such as the Council and Support Services for the Homeless working together through Fair Street Aid. Their advice is to donate money to the charities that support the homeless such as Two Saints, One Community and Acts of Kindness. That way you know your money will be used to help provide the homeless with the help and support they need.